Hey YouTube, it's Penny. I'm going to bring you a couple of things that I've had over the last week and um, hoping that maybe some of you might be able to help me put um, a couple of these things together um, that I still don't have understanding of. So on August 2nd, I had a vision of a hand tool of some sort. Um, it was made from stone and it was all one piece. Um, it had a round cylinder handle that you would hang on to the top and then the, the bottom of it was was rounded um, in a circular shape and I saw a hand using the tool um, and it was going back and forth it was rocking back and forth and it was crushing uh, wheat like uh, grains of wheat as it rocked back and forth <clears throat> and upon waking I heard myself say it was 550 but we got it for 50 and I didn't say dollars so I don't know I still haven't figured out what this 550 and the 50 means um, but for some reason I felt that I was supposed to research the threshing floor um, and then that same night uh, I woke up later and I heard the words a little here a little there and when I went to look that up in scripture, it's actually Isaiah 28. Um, but it, instead of saying a little here, a little there, it says here a little, there a little. Um, so I'm going to post all of Isaiah 28 in the description box. There are a couple of things that stood out to me about this passage. Um, well, first of all, verses um, 26 through 28 talk about a threshing instrument and um, and about uh, about threshing so I there's something in Isaiah 28 that we're supposed to be understanding here um, I also noticed in verse number 13 where it says here a little there a little uh, what well starts by, but the word of Yahweh was unto them precept upon precept, line upon line, here a little, there a little, that they might go and fall backward. Remember I just posted that dream about where people were falling backward? And be broken and snared and taken. So I don't know if it has something to do with verse 13. Um, but the other verse that stuck out to me was verse 18. Where it says, "In your covenant with death shall be disannulled, and your agreement with hell shall not stand, when the overflowing scourge shall pass through, then you shall be trodden down by it. Um, the reason that that's interesting to me, this whole covenant with death thing, is because on August 4th, I received another one of those hard sentences and I'm not sure if the context of the sentence is important or just the numbers that I heard that the sentence was why did you say it would be the same night as the 93 217 would be here and I wrote 93 and 217 down with a space in between them my first thought was you know Psalm 93 which is interesting because it says Yahavah reigns, he is clothed with majesty, Yahavah is clothed with strength, wherewith he has girded himself. The world also is established that it cannot be moved. Your throne is established of old, you are from everlasting. Verse 3, the floods have lifted up, O Yahavah, the floods have lifted up their voice, the floods lift up their waves. Yahavah is high, on high is mightier than the noise of many waters, yea, than the mighty waves of the sea. Your testimonies are very sure. Holiness becomes your house, O Yahavah, forever. So that's all of Psalm 93. So, um, and then the other thing I thought about with 217 was Revelation chapter 2, verse 17. He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says unto the called out assemblies. To him that overcomes, I will give to eat of the hidden manna, and will give him a white stone, and in the stone a new name written, which no man knows, saving he that receives it. 
that tool that I saw, I mean, it looked like it was made out of white stone, and I don't know if there's a connection there or not. Um, when I did an internet search on 93217, um, this is what I saw. Okay, so this is a um, Title 10. It's um, a, a federal grant that has to do with family planning um, services, which um, I believe um, is really more about um, sterilization um, and contraception and abortion services than anything else. And then Interestingly, today I got something from my own insurance provider that has to do with this Obamacare, and um, they are now covering not only contraceptives, but sterilization. And I thought that was interesting timing. So if, if sterilization and um, abortion is representative of a, a covenant with death and that was what I saw in Isaiah 28 was saying um, you know because of your covenant with death you will be trodden down that might be the connection between 93 to 17 um, the other thing that was interesting is the the next night on August 3rd um, I woke up in the middle of the night with a song normally if I get a song it's in the morning in the middle of the night, I woke up to Ain't No Mountain High Enough. I thought, well, that's weird. <laughs> wrote it down. Went back to sleep, and then later woke up with the word Mount Moriah. And so I, I looked that up. So in the Book of Chronicles, it's reported that the location of Aruna, so it's A-R-A-U-N-A-H. So Aruna's threshing floor is in Mount Moriah. And that the Temple of Solomon was built over this threshing floor. So um, this Irana er er guy uh, was a Jebusite um, who's mentioned in the books of Samuel. So he's the guy who owned the threshing floor on the summit of Mount Moriah that David purchased and used as the site for assembling an altar to God. Threshing floors would usually be in places likely to catch the wind so that the wind would assist the separation of the wheat from the chafe. Hence, it is quite plausible for the threshing floor to have been located on a high hill. Um, okay, so there's something the Lord wants us to see here about Mount Moriah, about the threshing floor, this instrument that I saw the threshing instrument that's referred to in verse 27 of Isaiah 28. So for those of you who are better Bible scholars than I am, um, we're getting a little here, a little there. That's what the, the Lord is, um, is only giving to me. So I'm hoping that maybe you have the, the full interpretation for this. Um, and uh, so please post your comments and uh, continue to blow the shofar. Barukata Adonai Eloheinu Ka'olam. Blessed are you, our Lord God, King of the universe. Amen.